Good evening. As Stephen said, my name is Hannah Foster, and I am honored to be here speaking to you on behalf of AIDS grant recipients and families from across the country. I have grown up right here in Hope Sound, and I began playing golf when I was eight years old. My parents enrolled me in a new school, and golf was a way to, for me to keep in touch with my best friend. Thanks to the generosity of Hope Sound Golf Club, my friend and I were allowed access to the course and instruction for a fraction of the normal rate. My coach kept golf fun for us and emphasized the etiquette and integrity involved in this great game. I can remember after every lesson, I would work on the changes over and over in my front yard until I mastered what my instructor had taught me that day. I was eager to learn and grow using golf as the platform. When I was 10 years old, I started playing in local U.S. kids tournaments. I fell in love with competing and meeting new friends from around the world. My mom and dad would caddy for me. By the way, my parents don't know anything about golf. And in fact, it is remarkable that I'm standing before you this evening talking about how golf has impacted my life because no one in my family golfs. <laughs> my father immigrated here from Jamaica looking for work to help his family back home. He met my mom, they fell in love, and they got married. My dad began working with my mom's family business. Unfortunately, the company was hit hard with the recession, so my dad started his own business, a mobile car wash company that services many of the local clubs here in the Hope Sound Jupiter area. To this day, my mom continues to help her family business recover from the downturn. Meanwhile, the golf lessons my parents arranged for me eight years ago quickly turned golf into my passion. I fell in love with it. I have seen success in junior golf and high school golf. In fact, in 2016, I was named the Palm Beach County and Sun Sentinel Female Golfer of the Year. <laughs> However, it has not been an easy road. When I was 12, I was diagnosed with mild Tourette syndrome and OCD, making golf and school very difficult for me as I find it challenging to focus without panicking. At age 14, I was diagnosed with a rare autoimmune disorder, morphia scleroderma. Cartilage builds up for no reason and restricts movement in my joints if left untreated. For over a year, I was treated with weekly steroid injections to no avail and eventually ended up under the care of the University of Miami specialist. As medical bills increased and business decreased, my parents were forced to file for bankruptcy. Unfortunately, my golf became a low priority and they couldn't afford the costs associated with my tournaments. Searching for ways to keep golf possible for me, my mom came across the Ace Grant Financial Assistance Program through the American Junior Golf Association. I have been a member of the AJGA for three years and this grant has made it possible for me to pursue my dreams and substantially lessen the financial burden on my parents. Because of the ACE grant program, I have been able to comp play competitive junior golf at the highest level while getting my name in front of college coaches. The AJGA has contributed, contributed tremendously to my achievement, achievements on and off the course. It is your generosity today that is making this possible and you inspire me to work harder to become the best person I can be. I am sure that some of you participated today because you knew it would be fun or you wanted to play this amazing golf course but you need to know that you are making an impact on the dreams and aspirations of young men and women across this country. I am only one of many examples. You're making college possible for a young man in Texas who will be the first in his family to go to college, or for a young lady, one of my fellow competitors, who lost everything in a house fire, and for future families that don't yet know they will rely on the ACE grant. I am so honored to be here with you today, and I hope to one day follow in your footsteps by giving back, showing kindness, and supporting those in need. I want to say thank you to the AJGA, to the Medalist Golf Club for hosting this Ace Grant Cup, and thank you to you because you are not sitting on the sidelines, but participating in the development of golf's next generation. Thank you. Thank you.